searching for a photo that you can't find. You know that you've taken it, but you can't find it on your computer. Hi everyone, this is Len Chornoff, and I just had that problem, and I use Genie Pick to solve my problem. Now, I did cover Genie Pick on Time Saving Tutorials, and to find that review on Genie Pick, just go to the search box and click on the word go and whammo. There are two reviews I did on Genie Pick, so you can see an introduction to that. Well, let's get back to my problem. Now, I usually put shots of Blake, my grandson, on my hard drive in a subfolder called Sherwood Shots. And I can hit the settings over here and let's just move this over so you can see that. And there's the folder. And by the way, you can search on uh, width and height and file size and date modified. So you have a lot of things over here. Uh, I'm looking for, I, I want to compare this shot. This is when he was really, really small. I want to compare this shot with a shot recently that I just took. So I couldn't find it. Genie Pick also searches Flickr and Google and Yahoo and SmugMug. And I put a lot of my pictures on Flickr. So let's go to Flickr. If I searched Flickr without my user ID, it would bring back every picture that had the word Blake in it. So I don't want that. I put my user ID and I'll put in tags first and let's put in Blake and let's click on search and whammo there is the picture Isn't that cute and it also has a light box where you can compare pictures let's bring that light box over and I put two pictures three pictures of parrots in that light box but I also put this picture, of course, and this picture. And so I can look at the difference in the two pictures. Kids really grow fast. So, Genie Pick, when you really must find a picture and you don't know where it is, this is Len Chernoff.